Well, it's that time again for another reaction video right here from the Steve Champagne Radio Show. This time I am super duper, holy cow, excited to watch this video. You have no idea. Um, but we're so glad you have decided to join us, especially if you're a Lumineers fan out there uh, in uh, YouTube land. We're glad you tuned in and stopped in. Not only are we going to react to this song, hearing it for the first time and watching this video, but we're going to rate it as well, talk a little bit about the Lumineers at the end. So if you're into the Lumineers, you'll probably want to stick around for that conversation, which will happen after the video. Now, I haven't seen this yet, and I haven't even heard the song. I knew it was out, <clears throat> but I haven't had time to listen to it or see it or watch it or anything like that. It's trending now big time on AAA radio stations and some other streaming services across the globe. So we decided to give it a listen and check it out. If you recall last time, the Lumineers put out a super duper video that uh, Ballad of Cleopatra trilogy or whatever you want to call that thing. I mean, uh, wow, that was just fantastic uh, storytelling video. I mean, you know, Gloria. Oh my God, the whole. I just uh, so I'm excited about this to hear what they've done, uh, what they may have changed in their sound. Who knows what I'm gonna hear, but. Let's just go ahead and dive in, shall we? Uh, right now, I'm diving in. I'm hitting the button. Lori, what does love mean to you? Ah, that's a question. Like butterflies all the time. Young love is like fiery. Feels like a rocket ship. It's different than when you're really young. We used to say we're each other's hell, dream, and nothing in between. <laughs> we, we've had our ups, we've had our downs. Yeah, it does get lonely out there. They stand there and be crying when I left. You know, don't go, and you gotta go. I rode a train and hitchhiked Florida to North Carolina to go see him. It's my first wife. It's been 30 years now, and still ain't nervous. Cigarette, sun is coming up ahead. 
Usual, the Lumineers video-wise did not disappoint me. Um, well, we're going to rate the song. We're going to talk about the Lumineers for a brief bit here. Um, this is how it works, okay? This, this is this is how it works, people. Uh, five and a half stars, greatest song of all time. Five stars is an A. Four stars is a B. Three is a C. Two is a D. One's an F. Zero stars. Why did you ever record it? You know the drill. If you've watched one of my reaction videos before, if you haven't, you should subscribe to the channel. Then we can be joined at the hip for an extended period of time and talk about music, not just the Lumineers, but music in general. We have some good videos that we produce all the time. We would love to be a part of our family. Anyways, let's get to Lumineers. Um, there's a few things that surprised me a little bit. I'm going to have to look something up because I don't know the answer. If you're a Lumineers fan, you could probably just tell me. Um, but you're not with me right now, so you can't tell me. I'd have to look it up. But just notice him singing. Dr what happened to the rest of the guys in the band? I mean, you know, when they did that Cleopatra thing, there was, you know, a full piece band there. Uh, I'm trying to go find out because, like I said, I, I can't keep up with everybody. You know, I can't. I just can't. Lumineers, let's see what's going on. All right, here we go. Um, there's only two guys in the band, apparently. <laughs> okay, there's only two guys. I thought there was more guys because that Cleopatra trilogy, they had more people. I guess they hired musicians. I don't know, but I've seen various clips of them where there's more than just two people involved in playing the music. So um, a little surprised to see that in, in that little dance hall area there. Uh, what a loving uh, tribute it is to people that are in love or, um, you know, I'm doing a wedding tomorrow, actually. I've got to uh, DJ a wedding, and, uh, you know, so uh, that's always, you know, and now this song comes on. And watching all these video clips, and some of them look like they were really old. I don't know where they got some of those clips from. Obviously, they filmed it. There is technology of aging, you know, where you can take a video and age it. Um, you know, hell, they even got it to where you can make yourself look young. Maybe I should invest in that technology, as some of you could actually see. But nevertheless, I thought it was a pretty good song. I'm, you know, with most Lumineer songs, I gotta listen to them a few times before it really sinks in. You know, I was, I was engulfed in the video. I gotta admit that because their videos have been so powerful. Uh, so I was engulfed in that a little bit more than the music. I didn't see anything special about the song as far as amazing vocal, amazing guitar playing, super duper drums or anything like that. But it was a good solid song. At first listen, I'm going to give it a three and a half stars. I don't think I can go further than that yet. Uh, that may change in the next week or two as I listen to the song. I'll definitely put it on a playlist in my phone. So when I'm driving to all these events that I have to do and things that I do, um, you know, I'll, I'll be checking it out see how it grows on me over the next week. So when we go live, which we're doing in a few weeks, we can find out if my uh, uh, opinion of this song has increased or decreased. We would love for you to be a part of that show, but you can't be a part of it unless you subscribe to the channel. That way you know that I'm live. We're doing this thing. We're going to be talking uh, about all kinds of things, as we always do when we go live. Be a part of that show. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy it as we talk about music and entertainment, all styles and all holds barred. Nothing is holding back. We don't hold anything back. Uh, it is uh, funny. It is entertaining, interesting, challenging, and more importantly, fun. So be a part of that show. In the meantime, what do you think of the song? 
Uh, do you have a comment that you'd like to make down there? I'd love to read it. I read every single comment because I'm psycho like that. I like to hear what people have to think about songs that I do reaction videos to. So please enter comments down there. How does this rank to the Cleopatra trilogy or any of those songs from that or Ho Hey or whatever? Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. In the meantime, from the Steve Champagne Radio Show, we bid you farewell. We want you to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's keep this channel and other reaction channels alive by doing that. Oh, my goodness. Live show in just a few weeks. We can't wait. Until then, that's it for what's hot. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time to keep the channel alive. Peace.